Okay, so the second nosing I'd want to talk to you about and show you how to install is what we call a flush mount nosing. Okay, on the bottom side you can see that we still have uh, the groove which is going to imitate where it's going to butt up to on your actual step. But you can tell that it's, it's a tongue and groove application. So when you're installing this, you want to make sure that when you do put your, your treads down, you've got your tongue edge sticking out both on the front side and on the, um, the side of the step too. Again, this is an open staircase, so we're gonna, wherever we're gonna make adjustments will be on, on this side panel. So let's just go ahead and show you. Again, you, know, you wanna make sure that you're not nailing it on the, uh, on the very front. Obviously, you're not gonna get anything and you don't wanna be nailing it through the tongue. So you wanna get it right through the thick of the, of the material. And again, we're gonna go ahead and use a finishing nail, pre-drill and finishing nail on this because, because of this product is so thick, we we'll probably won't get a brad nail through it. So, just like our upper floor on our overlap nosing, we've already gone ahead and adhered our, our, our step. Uh, we nailed it. Uh, I've got my angles cut. I've got my side cut to my, my stringer so we're nice and tight. And I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Okay? Now when it comes to it, we want to make sure that we've got a nice tight fit and our outside corner is going to align nicely. All right, again, we're going to apply our adhesive. Because you don't have the overlap and you're going to have a seam here, you want to make sure that you can get that as tight as possible. Go ahead and apply our second piece. Now we can pull our tape. There we go. Now we've got a nice flush finish. We don't have an overlap. Okay, we've got a nice flush finish that actual, actually interlocks with the tongue groove on the planks itself. And again, because it's a smaller step, your expansion and contraction really isn't going to be that much, so a good tight fit is what we want. You can see we got a nice outside corner here that's going to take a little putty or any fixing. We'll just go ahead. All of, all of this step is actually a little bit darker. We're going to go ahead and take our darker filler, our golden oak, and fill it as needed. You want to make sure you compress it and get it all the way in that in the nail head. Now we'll go ahead and let that dry and then we'll come back and wipe it off. You can see I've got a little bit of a gap here. That's nothing to worry about. What we can do is we can always take our pry bar and give it a little bit of a pull back. Uh, before the adhesive sets, you know, go ahead and work it a little bit if you've got a little bit of a gap. So that right there is really nothing to, it's nothing I'm going to fill with putty, but it's something I can adjust from the backside. All right, so I've countersunk the holes. I've gone ahead and filled my holes with putty. I'm going to let that set up a little bit. And as you can see, it's already starting to fill. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe them down, be done with it, and it's a fully installed step, flush mount. So thank you for watching and good luck on your next project.